Howdy doody everybody, my name is Kev Gooey and welcome back to Shining Song Star Nova. If you missed the last episode, you can click on the eye on the top of the video to watch the previous episode get caught up. Ooh. Maria swaggered in, barely keeping her balance. I stood in shock at her messy appearance. Her hair was a wild mess and her clothes were almost dangling off her. Well, what? Ma Maria? What? You stink of alcohol. Did you even take a shower yesterday? Eh? What you talking about? Can't smell a thing. Eh. Anyways, let's rock this fucking live and what become idols. I don't have anything left anyways. Maria lost her balance and swayed into a whiteboard. Oh, whoops. Heh. Heh heh heh. Forget that. How are you planning to dance in that condition? Besides, you look like you spent the night under a bridge. Shut up. Eh. Not the first time a Naito's done a live smashed. Ah, what a cherry boy. Happens all the time. Give me some water. Gonna get me fixed. Um. Oh, okay. Sasumi ran into the break room and prepared a jug of water as the rest of the girls murmured. So far we had Mika trembling on the floor and Maria leaning against the whiteboard in a drunken stupor. Huh. Oh shit. And on top of that, weren't we still missing someone? I reached for myself to check what was going on. I saw a message from Natan. Sorry, Pikun. I'm at the hospital right now. Got into an accident at work. What? What? My eyes widened in shock and I pressed myself against my face to double check that what I was reading her message right. Everyone, Natan's been hurt in an accident. Eh? I'm going to the hospital to check the situation. No, look, it's so weird without her. Oh, Natan. Ah, me too. Oi, you think we're just gonna sit here after telling us that? Come on, let's go. Yeah. Eh? Mika-chan, let's go! Seven of us rushed into the hospital. Maria still looking like a woman of a profession, better left unmentioned. <laughs> we went up to the reception desk and found the ward where Natan had been admitted. In a panic, all of us packed into the elevator and marched through the halls of the hospital, our hearts pounding. Natan was always so cheerful. She was uh, without a doubt the mood maker of the team and the most energetic out of the girls. What if something terrible had happened to her? What if... Producer son! I clenched my jaw despite the overwhelming fear in my heart. I was everyone's producer. No matter what happened, I had to be the bastion the girls I could rely on. We arrived at Natan's room. With a deep breath, I opened the door, my blood pounding. A roll of beds extended through the room, and when one of the beds was. <laughs> oh no, oh no! Natan! Oh no! I saw a figure wrapped from head to toe in a thick white cast. Natan! As me collapsed by the bedside, tears running from her eyes. What could possibly have happened? How did things turn out this way? Ah! His eyes lost focus and she crumpled to her knees, knocked out cold from shock. She was always so happy for something like this to happen. No, damn it! Eh? Eh? Well, butter in my butt and call me a biscuit. The hell's going on here? We were supposed to have our life today, but she just had to die before she could accomplish her dreams. <laughs> but, but she's right there. She, she, she's literally right there. Oh wait, didn't her boss save her? Oh, that must be uh her boss. The dad? Who's dad? Eh? <laughs> eh? Huh? Huh? Natan's a ghost. Davia is not done so alive. Besides, if she wasn't a body cast, how the hell would she even have sent a message message to the producer? Yeah. Yeah, I have no idea what's going on. Oh no, actually I do. Just not the producer. I rub my hand on my brow. Ah, what a mess. Alright, girls, let's uh get out of here. We're disturbing the other patients. We return to the hallway. How are you feeling, Natan? There was a bit of an accident at the construction site last night, but luckily no one was seriously hurt. I just scraped my knees a little, that's all. Sure enough, Natan's knees were wrapped in bandages. Hecky, hecky. Nothing's broken or anything, so I can still dance fine, and the bandages will be covered up with th thigh highs anyway, so no one will even notice. 
Are you sure you're okay? How deep is the injury? I'm fine, I'm fine. Just a little playground scrape, not a problem. Would have been a big deal if you hurt yourself before the live. Be careful. Julie slapped Mika's cheeks and there she jerked back awake. Oi, wake up. Natan's fine. <laughs> Ugu na Natan. Yahoo! <laughs> well, look at that. She's, you know, back to her usual self now. The dark scepter, specter of our falling comrade has materialized. Antabaga? Natan doesn't have a ghost. Oh, well, I mean, you're in the hospital. I might as well get an IV through you. The crisis averted, Maria was now bent over the color of paper. Cold beads of sweat began to drip down her temple. Uh -huh. Ah, look at the time! On Nemu's word, I suddenly realized it was already almost past noon. Eh, ah! We're going to be late for the dress rehearsal. Come on, everyone, let's go! No time, we can't miss our first live! Mika-chan, let's go! Hugu! Sasami grabbed Mika's hand and pulled her away before Mika could protest. The rest of us took off for the live house as well. In all my time as a producer, I've never met a more unreliable group of talents. Ah, uh, but they were my girls. I just had to deal with it. This was just my life now. <laughs> he somehow managed to arrive at the live house in time for the rehearsal. I had already got everything delivered here the other day. The girls quickly donned their uniforms and did their makeup. Can't believe it. You, oh, your hair's a mess. Julie shook her head as she straightened Maria's hair with an iron. Then into Maria's neck and gave it a sniff. That was like shit. <laughs> Maria was hunched over, barely clinging on to the remaining strands of her consciousness. <laughs> Are you really going to be able to perform like this? Shut up! Idol, Famous last words. Sasmi burst into the room bearing an armful of water bottles. Here. Thanks. She grabbed the water and chucked it down. <laughs> it's gonna get worse before it gets better. Why the hell did you drink so much the day before the live? You're gonna be helped, I got sacked from work. I'm tired of being a piece of shit. Always having to suck up to others. Getting my ass groped all the time at work. Well, not anymore. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna be an... <laughs> Maria suddenly gripped her mouth. Eh, <laughs> he... Everyone backed away as Maria's chest heaved. <laughs> Hook. Yeah. Maria gulped her vomit down, her teeth clenched, sweat pouring down her face. Gook. I'm gonna be an idol. You know that's the last thing I'm gonna do. <laughs> it would have been a lot cooler if we didn't just see you eat your own puke. Damare. Foo 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 foo. Then I managed to get through the rehearsals. Now it was time for the real thing. We were singing two songs to cover in our debut song. By pro standards, two songs were nothing. Hard even a mini live, but I looked over to the girls. Sasami looked over the others with worry. Uh-oh. Hope it goes well. Rio was in her usual sour mood, the alcohol just beginning to wear off. Pika was kneeling on the floor, her eyes clenched shut and rubbing her palms together high in the air as if praying to the idol gods for mercy. Natan looked completely oblivious to the other stress and happily chomped on a yakisoba bread. Emu had her usual ditzy smile, but we could all feel the dangerous aura looking below. <laughs> yep. Julie had nothing but a confident smirk, but I could tell her lips were trembling. Aki merely waited for the moment the curtains raised, her arms crossed, and eyes closed. Everyone, it's time. <laughs> Can we do a cheer? Girls gathered together into a star, their arms around each other's shoulders. We are... We are... Yeah! The curtains raised. Ah-ah! Uh -uh. eyes widened. Live house was packed with the audience members. Hundreds of glow sticks waved at her. Everyone, let's go. I watched backstage as the girls performed the first song. The venue owner was pleased to report that all the tickets had sold out. Although we still didn't know how much of it was our doing. At least we had that initial victory. Now it all came down to the girls. Julie, Maria, and Sasami finished their routine in the front row and spun backwards as Aki, Nemu, Mika, and Natan rotated forward. Oh, how are you doing? 
Mika's head was spinning. Was the music this loud during the rehearsal? It, and there were so many people. Ah! They rotated too far and collided into Nemu. Huck! Instead, Nemu wrapped her arms around Mika and leaned forward while stuffing Mika's face into her boobs. Can you smash her? <laughs> the booby smasher. Perfect. Ah, huh, I guess everyone likes it. The crowd went wild as Mika's small, innocent face was devoured by Nemu's breasts. I nice saved Nemu, Nemu. Mika and Nemu split apart as Aki and Natan fell back and were replaced with Maria. Yeah. Ogawa Kosuke rubbed his eyes as the girls danced on stage. He took his companion by shirt and pointed. Oh, isn't that ya Yamamoto Maria from Quasar? What's she doing here two years later? Oh. What's more, that's Kashiwagi Aki. I haven't seen her since she was 14. Eh? She's re-debuting? Wouldn't she be legal now? Oi, oi, keep your head out of the gutter. Yasuke raised both his glow sticks and bellowed. A anyways, well, we've got to show our support. Aria! Aki-chan, Oni-chan never forgot you. <laughs> The girl was painted as the first song ended. Warm up song is over, now it's time for our debut. Ooh. Rhea straightened up and smiled for the audience. Next song will be Star Nova's debut song. Even though we are not perfect, please cheer for us as we dance our hearts out. But inside, Maria was doing everything in her power not to double over in agony. After just one song, every part of her body was burning in exhaustion. Ugh, I guess this means I've got an, I've got an old. It used to be that I could drink all I want and be fine the next day. But now, tch. Meanwhile, Natan waved to the audience from the far corner. Her legs were trembling. Natan, are you alright? Yeah, the, the, the sweat's just making it sting a little, that's all. First notes of the debut song began to play. The girls closed their eyes. It was the story of their beginning. Injured, flawed, scared. Everyone, be strong. Do, do your best. I was always a fan. Ah! Huh. Everyone's shouting at me. Is it because I'm no good? Do they just want me to get off the stage? Ah, oh, that's probably what everyone's thinking. Words repeated in Mika's head. Good otaku. Human failure. Disappointment. Aww. What am I doing? I should never have left my home. I'll just get, it, get her in the outside where I'll never be a pretty idol. But then Mika remembered something. Anyways, remember that your teammates are working alongside with you and I'm still here as your producer. Everyone here is a part of this industry. It's nice working with people who sh all share a common dream, so there's no need to be a loner. Ah, I see. Everyone here shares my dreams. Everyone's here. Loves anime. Everyone's here to take a break from reality. Everyone loves idols. Can't give up again. I don't want to be a human failure anymore. Aww. Ah, uh, ah, uh, look at these pigs squeal from my body. Foo -foo -foo, let's give them a show to remember. But doubts ate through Julie's confidence. In reality, she wanted to see guys stare at her to avoid realizing the truth. No man was actually interested in her. But what did the flesh matter? Beauty was nothing more than a commodity in both the entertainment and dating market. No matter how confident Julie was in her appearance, beauty was something she did not have a monopoly over. Try as she did, there would always be someone else better to take men away. Pigs? Ah, uh, whatever. I know what's inside of me is shit run. Uh, I don't give a damn. You're just going to be abandoned. Ever since she was a child, she was always abandoned by men, starting with the first man she laid eyes upon being born. But that's not true. Heh, <laughs> you guys can't get enough of me. I'll never be abandoned again. But did any of them love her? Or did they merely lust after her looks? That's... That, that's... Suddenly, Julie remember what happened that night. Ha ha ha, just kidding. Relax, producer son. It's just a little off the record fun. Foo foo foo, as long as everything stays off the record, what's the problem? We do all sorts of stuff in the dark. They need a release, you know. Why drag that stuff in, out into the public when it can all disappear with the night? He's still here for me, isn't he? <laughs> but that cherry boy, he's not going to abandon me, is he? No, of course not. He promised me that he would make me as an idol to the very end. Here's the son. He'll always be by my side. 
Yay! I wonder if Haruna-san will yell at me tonight again. Where she uses her connections to harm my teammates. Where she ruins Producer-san's reputation. I won't let that happen. Oh, look! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! She, she got she got in crazy mode. Woo! Darkness began to bubble in Nebu's chest. <laughs> of course, I won't let that happen. I'm going to be the prettiest idol in the world. I'll get rid of anyone who stands in my way. Screw that woman. Trying to tell me what to do when she never even gave birth to me. She's just angry at my existence. Every time she looks at me, she's reminded that she failed as a woman. Well, you know, otaku-oriented entertainment used to be taboo in the past, but now it's mostly accepted as part of the entertainment industry. As a leading figure in that sector, shouldn't your mother know all the career opportunities that open by becoming a successful idol? Even after a top idol's retirement, they go on to become well-known television personalities or join management roles themselves. I'm sure your mother must be aware of all this. In fact, with such an impressive familial connection inside the industry, you really could become a top idol. What reason does your mother have to prevent you from following your dreams? Ah, uh, ah, but, 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 Producer-san did have a point. Karina-san wouldn't try to prevent me from becoming an idol unless she had a good reason. I mustn't. An idol doesn't think such hateful thoughts. What's come over me lately? I lose my temper so easily. Perhaps Harina-san simply wishes to protect me. In any matter, a lady mustn't lose her composure so easily. Alright, let's beat the negativity and bring out the sunshine. I, I keep seeing that that heart is it, just yeah, in her mouth. She just it draws my attention to it. Natan's knees throb as she dances on the stage. Ah, oh, this is getting dangerous. Oh, I wanted to dance my heart out for my debut life, but at this rate. Mom, um, everyone, I'm sorry, but I'm not sure if Nata can do this. I just wanted to make all the villagers accept us again, but... Oh? What happened? Whiteness began to seep down Nata's knee socks. Something like this is unfair, well why? Something like this always happens to me, when Nata always tries her best to be happy. Because if Nata don't smile, bad things will happen. Everyone will be worried. Uh, but how could I smile when it hurts like this? Yeah, Woo! I'm ready for ya, Pikun. Er, uh, well, what are you doing? Oh, Pikun, you said you'd find which parts of Natan had the most appeal. Natan's face broke into a grin as soon as she recalled that incident. Heh heh heh, Pikun was sure flustered when he saw me naked. I wonder if that was the first time he's ever been naked with a girl before. Ah, I wonder if I accidentally gave Pikun his most treasured memory. Alright, I can't let him down today. A farmhand like Natan can't let a puny scraped knee hold her down. Or else all the other villagers will laugh at her and say I became a pudgy city slicker. Natsuki heard a voice shout for her. Natan, we're all here for you. Saw the old site manager along with the other construction workers shouting for her in the audience. Ah, everyone. They all came to cheer me on, despite what happened. Alright. Let's go! Finally, I'm here again. It took so long to become to come back here, but this is still nothing. If I'm really going to make mommy happy, I'm going to need a stage much, much, much bigger than this. The doubts began to fester Naki's chest. Remember the ruined apartment, shards of glass, toppled furniture, trash everywhere. I can't let mama down again. No, or else, or else mama will. But being an idol is not a walk in the park either. There's always another girl chasing after you who will push you down just to get ahead. No matter how hard you work, the grown-ups might not recognize your efforts. Suddenly, blind terror gripped Aki's heart. Ah, no, not again. I don't want to be an idol if I have to do that again. There's no way I can be number one. I it's impossible. Impossible, impossible. You may not think it, but you're still young. There's still plenty of time to find your voice. Eh? What's up with the unexpectedly helpful advice? You're trying to act like you're my dad or something. Eh, <laughs> no. I'm just trying to be your producer. No. This time, this time things are different. I, I won't make the same mistakes that, like as last time. So come on, get yourself together, you shit lolly. <laughs> I'm younger, prettier, and better than all the other girls. Of course, I'm going to be the shining star of Song Nova. So there's no need to doubt myself. This time, I'll really be the number one. Maria's body ached and burned, no matter how much Maria tried to breathe. Her lungs screamed for more oxygen. She was hardly even singing, and her moves were slow and sluggish compared to her younger teammates. Her face burned with shame. She probably looked like a middle-aged woman trying to look cool amongst fresh teenagers to the audience members. Oh, oh I, I can't go on. 
I was expecting my time's over, huh? I should have known. You don't even see idols in their mid-twenties anymore. By then, they're already over the hill and long retired. Heh, I should have just accepted my defeat and just died quietly somewhere, instead of raising a fuss and getting slaughtered like this. I guess this means it's over, and in the end, I couldn't even sing in the Tokyo Dome. Heh, heh, heh. It's so, so much for girly girlhood dreams. Ah, I really shouldn't have dropped out of middle school for this. If I hadn't done that, maybe I might have a, had a future. Maria barely recalled all the scenes of her life leading up to this moment. There was nothing but a fear of disappointment, humiliation, and fruitless work. Yes, this is how idols die. My only desire is to see Star, Star, Star Nova on the biggest stage in Japan, shining stars powerful enough to turn night into day. Eh, spoken like a true producer. Eh, something like that's obviously impossible. No matter how you look at it, we're just a bunch of washed up ex-idols or late starting beginners. Nowadays, idol agencies manufacture girls before they even hit puberty. You think we stand a chance against them? It's impossible. Even if we somehow do hit it big, it'll be moments before some pretty young face replaces us. Regardless, I'm someone who's not satisfied until I've done my very best. Eh, what's that fool producer saying? If I gave up before an idiot like him, how could I ever look at myself in the mirror again? Rhea pushed her dark memories away. The future was still yet unwritten. She couldn't let what already happened prevent her from writing her own future. Tokyo Dome, one day, I'm, I'll still reach it. I'm a pro. I've got to lead the other girls on. Don't underestimate Naito. Asami's heart was pounding so hard, her chest could burst. Producer san, everyone, we're finally idols. Singing, dancing, and everyone's cheering for us. <laughs> I'm so happy we could all sing like this together. From now on, we'll always be the seven girls of Star Nova. But deep inside, she was afraid. For a moment, she had been an idol before. But what she had found was not happiness, but bleak darkness. She had always grown up in a loving family, oblivious to the evils lurking outside of her home. Men sought to use their power to intimidate and exploit others. Good people willingly averted their eyes from injustices hanging out in front of them. It was as if she had walked out to the sea, where the ground suddenly plunged into a deep, dark abyss so black that it could pull her into its depths. The longer she closed her eyes to the evils of the world, the deeper she would one day fall into that hole. This is what it means to be an idol. Ah! Uh, uh. His words echoed in her head. So, am I nothing but a thing to be sold? My manager demands that I dress for a photo shoot is my only choice? His thoughts again. I'm not Shimazaki Sasumi. I'm an idol. In the moment she signed on to become an idol, she had ceased to be a girl and had become an object. An object men worship by tossing money to it. An object of veneration, flawless, innocent, and pure. An object created by the managers of this new religion across the nation to collect dues from men far and wide. An object obliviously, obviously had no need for her life aside for the one given it by the managers. Now it's good Sasami's heart. Ah, so this is what the world's really like. I really should have just given up back then. What's the point of continuing to live in such a messed up world? Another voice cut out for her. You! What the hell are you doing? In her darkest hour, the lone man had dared stand amongst the countless who remained complacent that day. Sasami knew from that moment on that this man was different from the others, who never treated it as an object, who never witnessed an injustice occur before him and failed to act. Ah, what am I thinking? I'm just a coward. I need to be brave like producer son was that day. I can't give up just because of one bad experience. There's still good in this world. Producer son, you're... My hero! Yay! So the seven broken girls of Star Nova debuted that night. Song ended, the audience broke into cheers and applause. Aki chan, I knew you would come back to us. You fool. This isn't about Aki chan anymore. This isn't about Maria. It's about everyone. Behold, my brother, for we have witnessed the rebirth of seven new stars in this night. Star Nova! Star Nova! 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 The audience broke into a prompt do chant. The girls looked amongst themselves and laughed. Alright, let's go! Nova! 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 Missed the celebration and walked onto the stage. Huh? Producer Sam, why are you here? Calm the audience down. Everyone, I'm the producer of these girls. I'm pleased to make your acquaintance. 
Even though we are a far cry from what you would expect from professional idols, this is a unit I've grown especially fond of over the past few weeks. I hope that you will all become fond of them as well. That said, I have an announcement to make. Hey, I've never heard anything about this. What's going on? Ed, don't tell me we're all being retired and replaced with teens. Starting immediately, Starnova will perform weekly at this venue every Friday with two showings at 6 p.m. and 8 p.m. The girls all gathered together and embraced each other. This is just the beginning, you hear. Everyone better work their tails off from now on. Our forces report triumph at every quarter. The black song shall echo eternal. We've all hit a success right off the bat. It's all thanks to producer sounds hard work, isn't it? That's what I do, right? Hey, hey, I'm not impressed by this at all. Ooh, we, we did it! The girls looked down in shock as Maria's face scrunched together like a pug. It's gonna be an idol again! <laughs> hey, what are you crying for? This is our reincarnation! Nova! 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 So, the story of how we were reborn concluded. In the end, it was all but the first of many chapters in our days as idols. For a moment, we were all truly happy for taking the first step to realizing our dreams. But our story was far from over. More trials awaited us, for success only brought bigger and darker troubles. Fame and fortune came hand in hand with sorrow. Our story of stardom continued. To be continued in Shining Song Star Nova. Next time on Shining Song Star Nova. Following their success debut live, the team had serious hot springs vacation to celebrate. However, producer Sun finds himself in a whole lot of hot water when the girls fight amongst each other as to who should be selected the sender. After their vacation, the girls resume their journey to stardom. However, the question of who will become the sender continues to loom over the unit. Trouble brews when Maria's old teammates from Quasar appear. The girls are invited into a game show, but what? But just what kind of weird game show? New photograph, new photographs of the girls might have leaked onto the internet. And producer Sun continues to manage his unruly talent, or is this story heading to an early bad end? All that and more in the next chapter of Shining Song Star Nova. This concludes the Shining Song Star Nova demo. We hope you enjoyed this introductory chapter. The Star Nova girls rise to stardom. While they may have held their first live, they still have a long way to go until they become big idols. We continue to watch over them as they continue to do the best in the story of seven flawed girls trying to become famous. Can't wait until the game's release to find out what happens next. Um, and all that. Join the patron today. Ah, you can ask the rest of the common route, even help test character routes. Also, keep your eyes peeled for future limited time goods. Hold on, let me let me read, read that. We accept additional funding on Patreon to further polish this game, become a funder on Patreon, and you can access additional kind like character routes, betas, concept art, and more. Okay. Keep your eyes peeled for future limited time goods, such as character merchandise and physical collector's edition box sets. Stocks for physical collector's merchandise are very limited, so be sure to pre-order to guarantee that there is enough stock. Until our next time, Shining Song Star Nova! And that is the end of Shining Song Star Nova, everybody. This is the finale episode. Uh, the finale ending episode is it's because I am not able to um, continue on, even if I do get the game. Uh, it's it, the, uh, the policy is that I'm not able to go beyond this. It's only the demo that I can play. And this game is actually pretty interesting. So I'm pretty sure in the end, it's just we choose one of the girls to, um, I guess, uh, be our waifu in the end, I'm assuming. And that would make them into the center. So, yeah, huh. I'm just very curious about the uh, game show, though. That one sounds very fun. But I can't, I can't play it for you guys. You guys just have to check it out yourselves. The link is down below in the descriptions, as always. Ooh, I like this. I like this a lot. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Shining Song Star Nova. Hope you enjoyed the whole um, whole playthrough of the demo. 
finale of the demo. If you guys enjoyed this, then please slime that like button and subscribe down below for more awesome videos. And don't forget to slime that bell too. Thank you everybody for watching this episode and you will hear me in the next one. Goodbye!